Wow, the STM32 MP1 is the logical continuity of the STM32 for embedded computing. ST started the STM32 family back in 2007 with the STM32 F1 series based on Cortex-M3 core. Since then, we have extending our STM32 microcontroller portfolio to 14 product series over 1,000 part numbers, addressing applications requiring ultra low power, wireless, mainstream, or high performances. Today, STM32 microcontrollers are leading the market of general purpose 32-bit microcontroller thanks to our product offering, of course. But also, for one very important reason, we wanted to simplify the development for our customers. To do that, we have developed the STM32 Cube ecosystem along with a strong ecosystem from partners. With STM32 MP1, our goal is to address in a similar way all the development challenges of microprocessor customers by offering three product lines and 24 part numbers along with complete ecosystem supporting both Linux, Airtos, and leveraging our microcontroller strength. One of the very important requirements from industrial customer is product longevity. The STM32 MP1 benefit from the STM32 commitment to rolling longevity. What does it mean? It means that we are committing 10 years longevity supply chain as bare minimum. For example, STM32 F1 has been launched back in 2007 and longevity commitment has been renewed last January for 10 years more. So, the STM32 F1 will benefit from 22 years of supply chain commitment. Finally, technical support is very important for our customers and STM32 MP1 will benefit from the STM32 worldwide local support along with support through our online communities. The STM32 MP1 microprocessor is indeed a general purpose microprocessor suitable for multiple applications. The STM32 MP1 architecture can cope with applications requiring high processing and advanced graphics, but also real time and power efficiency. The STM32 MP1 is a multi market product microprocessor with a strong focus on industrial, home, consumer, health, and wellness. As an example of ideal application, we could think of an industrial application with HMI display, 3D graphics, running terminal per day, combined with a motor control and low power sensor acquisition, running 24-24 hours. This is a great question. Well, let's talk a bit about the flexible STM32 MP1 architecture. It's based on an heterogeneous dual Cortex-A and Cortex-M architecture enabling the user to manage Linux processing application while dealing with real-time constraint systems. The STM32 MP1 includes a rich feature set, including wide connectivity peripherals and analog interfaces. All those interfaces can be seamlessly allocated either to Cortex-A Linux side or Cortex-M real-time side. This great flexibility will allow to cope with a rich range of applications. This flexible STM32 MP1 architecture is composed of a high-speed processing part and a real-time part. First, the high processing part includes a single or dual Cortex A7 core running at 650 MHz and optional 3D GPU running at 532 MHz and a DRAM interface running at 533 MHz. On top of that, you can find other high-speed interfaces like a display interfaces with relation up to WXGA at 60 frames per second, a gigabit Ethernet GMAC or three USB port. Secondly, the real-time processing is managed by a Cortex-M4 running at 200 MHz in use cases such as sensors, motor control, and low-power acquisition. 448 kilobytes of embedded SRAM are dedicated to Cortex-M4 application to run microcontroller use case within STM32 MP1 microprocessor. From power efficiency point of view, this architecture lets customers easily turn on or off the cores independently to achieve the best figures for this application. For sure, the ecosystem is a key element of our solution when it comes to reducing costs and development time. First, on the hardware side, dealing with high-speed DRAM is often a challenge in terms of signal integrity in PCB layout. ST is proposing reference PCB layout example and a configuration tool that customers can use to speed up their development. Secondly, 
software development cost is exponentially increasing for most of our customers. To address this, ST has developed a fully mainline open source Linux distribution for Cortex A7, already accepted by the Linux community and now part of the standard Linux long-term support 4.19 version. What does that mean? STM32MP1 is now plug and play on Linux. Now, let's talk about the real-time firmware. Well, the Cortex M4 benefits from the rich STM32 microcontroller legacy as part of the STM32 Cube firmware and lets customers focus on their end product differentiation. On the tool side, we are extending our microcontroller tools to address the challenges specific to microprocessors in an integrated way. For instance, the STM32 CubeMX configuration and core generation tool supports both Cortex-A and HEM, and the ID supports multi-core debugging. We also want customers to easily evaluate our solution. To do so, we have evaluation and discovery board available from ST and partners, which we are showcasing here at the show today. Finally, for customers looking for system-owned modules, STM32 MP1 has been selected by many partners. And let's not forget we have a great wiki with a full user guide for beginners and experts. Yes, STM32MP1 is available for mass production right now in four different packages optimized for lowest PCB cost. Samples are being made available at distributor by March. Boards will be available through your preferred distributors by April. Also, ST is proposing a dedicated power management IC solution together with STM32MP1. It will significantly simplify customer development experience by optimizing power conception, bill of materials, and PCB footprint. Let me finish by a great demo. This demo is showing advanced HMI and real-time application. So this is our evaluation board. On Cortex A7 side, we are running Linux with advanced HMI running 3D graphics application. On Cortex M4 side, we have the real-time application where the motor control is running. Our demo is showing the combined demo of two worlds. And if you want to know more, you have to, to browse st.com slash stm32mp1. Thanks for watching.